it may be a commercial message, but it's dressed as something that feels like news. Um, the word that I use is journalistic, and I don't mean that in a positive way at all. It, it steals from the ethos of journalism without delivering the ethical backbone that we expect from journalism. If you are very influential, like Ashton Kutcher, he has 14 million followers and he's a big star on Twitter. I think he's in the top 10. Oh, yeah. um, here he is tweeting about a company called Fab, which is a daily deal site. And here's an article that says, oh, Ashton Kutcher invested in Fab. So here's an instance where he is um, basically doing a commercial for Fab. It's a symphony of special interests. There's all sorts of instruments playing. Uh, in this orchestra, and if you kind of blur your eyes, it has the veneer of journalism. It has the veneer of being honest and objective and vetted and believable. And uh, if you scratch the surface of that veneer, what you find is that um, uh, sometimes that's that's really not the case. See, it's what you hear. It's a lot of it is empathy. A lot of it is touching into you emotionally that you can't necessarily get just from text alone, just from audio or images alone. It works incredibly effectively at being a persuasive tool. I'm one of those strange creatures that likes to follow what goes on a law because then it kind of sets a guideline, but then it sometimes raises a lot more questions and also lets you realize how many people in your own industry in business aren't necessarily paying attention to, the, to it. What am I supposed to pay attention to here? Um, you should, shouldn't be a lawyer to really understand what is, what is the law, but also what is the ethical thing to do. There's a difference between advocates and influencers. Advocates are people who will just go out and do anything without having to get anything reciprocated to them, any payment whatsoever. That is an advocate. Now you can reward these type of advocates, brand advocates, but influencers are the people that advertisers will go after and say, I want to hire you to basically promote this or that. That is the, the big distinction. If you're going to be getting business, if you're going to be an influencer, if you want to build trust, you don't want to be given an opportunity to somebody who has it out for you, including a troll, including somebody who's just a hater. Haters are going to hate one way or another, especially on YouTube, especially when they have the opportunity to comment or just looking for something to hate. You have to be more ethical and one step above. So I always say, you know, put it at the beginning of the video too, so that way it doesn't get missed. If you're putting at the end of like a three minute or five minute video or whatever, there's a lot of people who drop off, who don't see that part. So that itself can also be an argument, hey, you weren't making this clear and conspicuous. But you can also clearly identify who is sponsoring your content, and you know, if they're in any way part of the actual content. And here's why I say this, is there's an industry of web celebrities, those like you might, you might see somebody like, uh, uh, let's say, um, I Justine, others out there, they build, they amass a large part, a large number of followers. Another is a guy who called, had their show called What the Buck, and it was very popular. Well, what you probably didn't know is that he had a broker that would work with brands where he would feature the brands as part of his content. A good example was when um, uh, the broker pairing with What the Buck and Fox on one of, their, one of their comedy shows. And he went on the show and he talked with the guests and he was having his own fun stuff. Now, he never actually said, I endorse your show, I think it's wonderful, it's great, by the fact that you're inserting yourself as part of something that is meant to be entertaining and fun, and not disclosing that, hey, Fox actually paid for this to happen, that itself, um, there's a good argument to say that that can build a level of distrust. 